I a coward? Who calls me villain? Breaks my pate across, plucks off my beard and blows it in my face, tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie of the throat as deep as to the lungs. Who does me this? Huh? Swoons, I should take it! For it cannot be what I am! Pigeon livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter, or ere this, I should have fatted all the region kites with this slave's awful! Bloody, bawdy villain, remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain, oh, vengeance! Why, what an ass am I? This is most brave. That I, the son of a dear father, murdered. Prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, must, like a whore, unpack my heart with words and fall a cursing like a very drab, a scullion, fly on foam about my brain. I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have, by the very cunning of the scene, been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malefactions. For murder, though it had no tongue, will speak with most miraculous organ. I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before mine uncle. I'll observe his looks. I'll tent him to the quick if he but blench. I know my course. The spirit that I have seen may be a devil, and the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape, aim perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he's very potent with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I have grounds more relative than this. The play's the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king.